Hello, it's Cubezella here, and I have some interesting, juicy tea to spill today. Today, I'm going to tell you how to access and get to the four secret lot locations in The Sims 4. If you're new here, hello. I like to make Sims 4 content as well as lots of other gameplay, and I hope you subscribe and to see more. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello, guys. Love you, and let's get started. I'm so excited to give you these little deets because I didn't know about this for a very long time. So, here we go. Number one, Sylvan Glade. You can actually access this through Willow Creek. I'll show you right where you need to be right here. And once you find this beautiful majestic tree, it will be in that little neighborhood. You're going to actually view the tree a few times. You're just going to get this little, like, if you click on it, you'll get view. You want to want to click on that a few times until another thing pops up. This could be a little tedious. I think you could probably press it three times, two times. But you're going to wait and keep pressing it until you get the water. And when you get the water one, you're going to keep doing that until you also get another one. There's going to be a few options. You're going to have chat come up. You're going to have compliment leaves. You're just really going to want to give this tree all the compliments and love until it wants to literally open up its hole. That sounds really bad. That's okay if it does. But literally, you want that hole to open so you can actually get to Sylvan Glade. There is another way to get to Sylvan Glade. Um, if you have spa day, you can meditate and actually send your sim back to Sylvan Glade. I have yet to try it. So if any of you guys have seen that, please comment in this comment section down below and let me know. But once we do get on to getting that little door open, we will be shown a few little mod no notifications uh, just allowing us to know like, hey, you can travel through Sylvan Glade and you are going to be presented with a little kind of like pop up role play game and you are going to have to answer the questions and they have to have the right answers for you to be able to actually go through the hole and travel into Sylvan Glade. So I'm going to give you those answers so you know exactly how to get into Sylvan Glade. Let me just get this whole open for you guys and then we'll go through and we're gonna give you all little oh boom all little tricks so you could also travel to Sivan Glade if you already have before you are gonna be prompted to give the tree some love again to get its hole open so we can go right back but we're not gonna do that for this I've already been there but we are gonna go travel through it and this is where the answers come you are going to want to follow the sound okay I could read it to you I don't got time, can't really see that in my editing software. You're then going to want to travel downstream. Click that. Then, you're going to want to enter the mist. And then, you should get a pop-up that says travel to the glade, and then you'll be able to travel. And, oh, the glade is so beautiful. Uh, this is fairy world to me. Honestly, this is one of the cutest little hidden lots. It's actually probably my second most favorite hidden lot. Okay, guys? Second. I'm actually going to label these probably oh, like the most fun and little like things to find in Sylvan Glade. So, you can actually build on a hidden lot that is here. You just have to go to control C, type in testing sheets true or type testing sheets on. Then you're going to put BB enable free build and then you will see the lot. I actually have that plant sim tree right there. That's what I have on the lot because it kind of goes with it. I thought, you know, mystical, magical, might as well have my plant sims come out here to be, you know, getting the seeds to be one. But yeah, you got some ponds here. You got a waterfall. You'll find some rare plants and fish in this uh, Sylvan Glade here. But you can only get the tree fish here. Only the tree fish here. So... If you are trying to catch all the fish, you're going to want to hit up this area. Look at those creepy little like red eyes. Ugh, no thank you. But this place is so magical. The sound itself is so beautiful. And look, do you see that? Those are fairies. Which is maddening to me because all I want... Oh, the rainbow little waterfall. <laughs> all I literally want is to be able to like have fairies in the game but we do have these teeny little in in ab inanimate <laughs> fairies just flying around the little sylvan clay this is where i think fairies would come from guys this place is so magical when you are ready to go home you will have to find that tree again 
but right now we have our fish just, um, our fish our sim just fishing but i think right now we're just gonna zoom in on a fairy for you guys so you guys can see up close how cute this little fairy guy is he's so cute i gotta find one first there is one right there oh look how cute that is it's so magical you see it's little like fairy dress and the wings more scary eyes in the back guys look 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 this place is so so magical so pretty so like my vibe my style too ah oh, i love i love this place so much guys ignore my sounds my bad but i will show you guys how to leave in a second we're just going to look i think did i lose it again yes that is <laughs> the other tree yeah wrong tree that is the plant sim tree that i place on the non there is a lot there guys there is one and that's what i planted there but i there was that had a hole too you get a little confused but the one on your way back doesn't have a hole and it's actually just a little bit over no yeah wait no no we're close <laughs> You have, it's actually green. It's a green tree. It doesn't have pink leaves. And that's where I messed up. I thought it had pink leaves, but I'll find it. There it is. That's the tree you want to get home. You're going to click go home and then poof, you're gone. Number four, Planet Sixum. This is actually from Get to Work Expansion Pack, guys. This is not a base game um, secret lot, unfortunately. And this is a very unique pack because this is actually the one that brings in the alien occult sims, which you can make and create a sim or meet. They don't really come into gameplay until you actually become in the scientist career itself and discover aliens via the antenna thingy majiggy. I don't know what it's called. But to access the way through the scientist career, you want to level up. I believe it's possibly till 10. Make a worm hole generator and you're going to have to actually upgrade that. Then you can, you know... Just click on the wormhole and actually try to travel. You're going to want to do this probably, well, this is better done actually in the scientist career itself because in the scientist career, you are actually greeted by an alien party when you get down to 6M or up to 6M technically. So in the scientist career, when you come, you get an alien party greeting, which is super sick. It's because it's kind of an accomplishment for the career. You don't get that if you go on your own, like you'll see. We're not going to get that right now. But you're going to want to build that wormhole, like I said. There's two ways. I just showed you the one. And it's super, super sick. So the good thing about here is you can collect rare and very rare <laughs> Um, elements and materials. I say that because one of my favorite six-piece collectibles comes up here, and that is the geodes. You can get geodes here, and it is super sick. The views and the sights in this place are amazing. Some of my favorite screenshots in-game have come from Sixum. It's magical. It's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Realm of Magic with the color scheme, and that is also gorgeous, and it's great. It's, mm, it's so great. Um, just a heads up, there is no fishing spots here. Even though that looks like water there, I guess it's not. And there's no fish inhabitable on this planet. And that's okay, but rare crystals and metals are as well as geodes. <laughs> Any players that are interested in gardening can find some rare flowers and plants in this planet, which is kind of cool. You can find the quill fruit, wild orb, and the fang, flang fang flower. <laughs> I wish that was in, you know, vampires, but whatever. Once you finish exploring, you can actually use the wormhole generator to get back home. But right now, we're just going to explore and I'm going to talk about <laughs> the world a little. Well, secret lot. There is a buildable, um, it's not like viewable. You have to do BB enable free build cheat to get onto it. I've never attempted to build anything yet there. I'm, I don't know if I should. Maybe I should, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below. Would you guys like to see a Planet Sixum house build or something? That would be kind of interesting. But like I said, look how awesome this place looks. Honestly, the landing strip just looks terrible compared to everything. But it's cool because you'll be able to kind of really explore and it's fun. You'll see aliens. See the little dude? He's in his little alien costume. It's very rare to see aliens outside of Sixum just walking around like this usually they have their disguise on so 
this is interesting you get to hear the alien like sounds i guess it's a voice i wouldn't say it's a language but it's pretty darn flipping cool man i yeah i love this place you can really tell a lot of stories with the occult sim itself now this sim i'm using right now she's an alien she just isn't in her alien form i should have turned her in her alien form that would have been sick but i believe right now we're heading back home and i'm going to show you the second way the second way is actually going to be through the scientist no no i'm not no it's going to be through um oh my god is it the scientific scale i don't know what is it called oh my gosh i am like um, my bad rocket skill oh my god the rocket skill career poof you can get this from the scientist um career by building up that kind of skill but you could do it manually and buy yourself a rocket ship and you know build it all the way up and then you're gonna want to be a level 10 i think for rocket skill that way you can actually add on the wormhole generator once you add on the wormhole generator which is kind of, honestly money you need this stuff it's gonna take you a little bit but it, not as hard as getting into the scientist career and leveling up yourself manually but once you do get that rocket built built i said built size when you get that rocket ship built there we go then you can get that add-on then you can actually travel through the wormhole and that is what we're gonna do right now and i'm just gonna prove to you that we can get to six them up real quick guys and i do like this kind of like little editing thing i did right here you know you just poof up into a little spaceship and you're gonna get yourself all the way to six them and it's gonna be great because that was almost less effort so but poof look we're in six them anyways guys let's start on the next okay the next secret lot number three the forgotten grotto this is a base game secret lot guys you guys can access this just from the base game you will need to go to desert oasis i think it's called i could be wrong i'm tired guys and you are going to get to the park or to the land grabs house you can access these caves through both entrances once you get to the park you want to go locate that cave you're going to want to break open that wood you're gonna need a level 10 handiness skill to be able to break open that wood and actually access the forgotten hollow you'll be prompted for the questions and i'm gonna give you the answers guys you are going to want to take the wide path then you're going to want to climb the ladder after that you're going to step onto the ledge and then after that you should have something popping up and letting you transport to the actual grotto okay level 10 handiness skill is needed for this okay once you are able to travel the forgotten grotto <laughs> you will see it there is no buildable lot at all no secret okay no bb enable free build it's not gonna work there is in fact a toilet though so you will have a little bit more time but you can't place anything okay you can't so this place is a little underwhelming it is gorgeous but there's not really much going on okay there's not much going on you are going to be able to actually get a few collectibles here though okay like sylvan glade there's lots of actual rare items to collect the batfish is the only item that is exclusive to this area again this should have been in the vampire pack, but whatever it's okay uh, there's also places to dig up rare collectibles, catch frogs and insects, and mine crystals and other minerals. There's also several plant spawners inside of the grotto that are available here, including onion plants and mushroom plants. I'm not sure what else kind of plants, to be honest, but it's a neat area. I mean, <laughs> I zoomed in some of the weird things. You got some water dripping from, I guess, the top of the cave. It's cool. I mean, come here to fish, grab your bat fish, but there's really not much other than fish and frogs, in my opinion. There's some pretty crystals, but I mean, I don't know. This is probably my least favorite secret lot, I'm not gonna lie. 
But guys, I'm going to show you the alternate way to get into this. So the alternate way is actually from the land grab's house. You kind of have to curve around the rocks around their house and head down that path and it will be there. Same thing, level 10 handiness skill and it is the same answers that I gave you prior. And again, it's going to be a little bit of a trek. You guys might want to make sure your needs are all filled up before you go to the Forgotten Grotto. Just a heads up. Anyways guys, let's move on to the fourth and final secret lot. Number four, the deep woods, also known as the Hermit's House, guys. This is found in Granite Falls, so you guys are going to need the um, camping retreat. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Jeez, English, right? <laughs> Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat, okay? You're going to want to head to that community lot, and you're going to want to look for an entrance. It will be kind of mixed in with some kind of bushes trees and as well as some stones once you find it you are going to be given a little questionnaire once again that you are going to have to go through and select the right answers and i will be giving you the answers right now but this is going to take a while to find the shrub okay just let you know so you're going to press step forward then after that the next one you're going to press go through the web i wouldn't do that real life the third one you're going to do is ignore the object. And the fourth and final one is approach the sim. And then you are going to be asked if you want to go forward and go to the hermit's house. And you're going to say yes. And this is when you're going to see this little sacred little land for this little hermit. This person lives by themselves. They have their own little house. And it's actually quite important if you are kind of doing the whole outdoorsy thing to actually befriend him or her it's an npc so it could be either or you want to befriend them because they're actually going to give you some tips and tricks you're going to be able to find um some rare collectibles in this area as well okay which is really good so your sim is going to learn gardening from him he's going to give you recipes and tips for per fertilizer and it's then you're going to be able to actually have a chance of catching the rare mountain lionfish in this area highly suggest doing that and it's only only available in this area okay guys so if you want to fill out that you know fish rare collectible set you got to come here and get this done you guys can also find blackberry bush here and be able to harvest it as well as you know plant some at your house and make lots of money because they're very lucrative they're worth quite a bit of money i'd highly suggest getting yourself some blackberries and just banking off of the money okay this place is really beautiful just a heads up it's not fun in the winter i tried for the video at first to go in my current save it was a blizzard let's just say it was nearly impossible to even see to let alone find the whole gate thing i did eventually find it but i just don't suggest trying to come and find this in the middle of winter but guys, you will also be able to find the Willow Wisp, Walking Stick, and Dragon Dragonfly insects in this area, which is pretty good. I think you might be able to find some of those in the other area, but I believe Willow Wisp for sure is in this area. The Dragonfly, there's a few of them, so I'm not 100% sure. But guys, this comes a conclusion to the video on the secret lots and how to access them. If you guys liked videos like this, please comment in the section down below. Like this video so I know you guys want to see more content and suggest what type of other content that you want. Tips, tricks, advice on for multiple different gaming platforms I play. I mean, I don't just play The Sims 4, guys. But... I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the scenery of Granite Falls, the deep woods.